The first step is to determine the control type used in the application. This will help determine which identification routines are chosen during the process. Volts per hertz applications require only calculations and stationary measurements, while speed control applications may require all available measurements to be done. In this example, we have speed control encoderless, as shown in the control unit configuration screen. All measurements will be completed. Double-click Identification slash Optimization from the Commissioning section of the Project Tree. The Identification slash Optimization window opens. Expand the drop-down menu item and select the Complete Calculation of the Motor Control Parameters selection. Click the Activate Measurement button. The drive makes calculations based on the information entered during initial commissioning and enters this information into the appropriate parameters. This is a quick process. Expand the drop-down menu once again and select Stationary Measurement from the drop-down list. Click the Activate Measurement button. A warning pop-up appears noting that the stationary measurement will be performed at the next drive enable and that current will be applied to the motor and that it could turn slightly. Close the warning pop-up and give the drive a run command either from a system command source or starter control panel. Do not stop the drive while the tests are being performed. The drive will stop automatically when the process is complete. Note the status identifiers as the identification routine is performed. The tests are complete and the system writes the measured values to the drive's parameters. Expand the Measurement Type drop-down menu and select the Turning Measurement. Activate the test and acknowledge the warning pop-up by clicking the close button. Give the drive a run command and note the steps performed in the status box. Do not stop the drive while measurements are being performed. The test is complete and measurements are written to the drive's parameters. Now select the Speed Controller Optimization option and activate the measurement. The warning pop-up appears once again. Close the warning window and give the drive a run command. Note the status as the routine is performed. The test is complete and values are written to the drive. The results of the optimization routines are written in RAM of the drive. To make them permanent, a RAM to ROM save must be performed. 